Now back to and Trump coming to Chicago. See, you, you told Rahm Emanuel, clean it up, or I will. And you threaten my young brothers. Let me tell you something. My brothers are in bad shape. And I have warned all of you. I told you that the, the army was coming. I told you to get your act together and clean up your act because they're coming with a mind to slaughter us. Have I said it? Not just for a year, but for three decades. I have been warning you about the government of America planning a war, not only with a Muslim overseas, but with black people and the nation of Islam in America. Have I not done that? Now, Mr. Trump, you can come and you can bring your army. But if you read this book and know what your people have planned and are carrying out against young black men, then you come. But I'm going to warn you, Mr. Trump, this is not a forsaken people. And the God that we serve has promised us that he would fight our battles. We don't have no gun to equal yours, but we got a God. Check out the West Coast. You never seen no rain like that. You haven't seen nothing yet. Hey, in the Middle East, y'all think that Dubai is a nice place to run and hide now. You can get in the hotel and order some liquor in a Muslim country. They might even have a pig foot there for you. <laughs> But they woke up one morning, a week or so ago, in Dubai, with 10 inches or 10 centimeters of snow on the ground in the desert. Don't you ever think that you can go somewhere and God can't get to you when he wants to make an example of you. So I'm saying to Mr. Trump, not being disrespectful, I'm going to talk to you about him now. Who is he? You can come, bring your army, but if you slaughter my little young brothers, watch what God will do for you. Mr. Trump, and for the country that you said you want to make great again. That's not going to happen, Mr. Trump. America will never be made great again. Her days of greatness are over. The God of justice has come. And America now has to pay for what she has done.